Okay, so Tracy and Carly. Hi everyone. Um, first of all, we'd like to thank uh, Healthy Youth for having us out here, flying us out from Florida. Um, this is my first film. Uh, I own a personal training studio in Gainesville, Florida that is a plant-based uh, vegan personal training studio. And I've been watching people completely transform and change their lives and become very healthy in a short period of time uh, for a very long time now. So. I had an idea one day, how can I reach as many people as possible? And my idea was to do a film um, uh, of changing someone's health in the most drastic way possible. So I had to go looking for um, some very um, large obese people that I wanted to change their life uh, in this film and document it. And um, that was when I met Tracy. and. Uh, we embarked on this journey to make this movie, uh, which the first year all we did was practice a plant-based lifestyle and, and exercise and film. And then at the end of that, I had to say, well, now I have to uh, learn how to edit this footage and everything else that, that goes with uh, doing a movie. So that was a whole other adventure in itself. Um, but uh, now here we are with this film, and this is about the 14th or 15th time I had redone it, trying to get the story right. Um, but it's, we've been very fortunate. It's won four film festival awards and converted a lot of people into a, a much healthier lifestyle. So we've been very happy with that. Um, Tracy, you want to say anything? Sure. I just wanted to thank everybody for coming out, seeing some very embarrassing footage of me. So <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. I, I will be sitting in the front row shutting. But <laughs> I'm here and I'll answer any questions that you guys have at the end. Thank you. Enjoy the movie. November 17 in person. So now, Carly and Tracy. Um, thank you, everyone. Um, so, questions? Uh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, my husband and I both have a question, the same question, actually. Okay. Um, You know, I, I get asked that question quite a bit. Um, I do have some loose skin. Um, I naturally have oily skin though. So it was a little bit more elastic than what I've seen in other people to the point that it hasn't hindered me all that much. I can normally wear certain clothing to work out, but I do have around my midsection some loose skin, but nothing that is of health concern. So I haven't had it removed. Congratulations. Thank you. And that is, that is something that um, you do see. It varies from person to person how much their skin tightens up. Tracy's definitely tightened up a lot more than your average person. But if you think about, you know, if you stretch your skin out to 300, 400 pounds over a long period of time, there is going to be some stretching there. Um, how much it heals up is kind of genetic. Yes? Yeah, um, I have chronic fatigue syndrome. Uh-huh. Uh, the, the question is, is uh, you said you have chronic fatigue syndrome and is there a lot of cooking involved in this lifestyle? Yeah. Uh, the answer is yes, there is. Um, teaching people to cook and shop is something that I do, that we do at my studio. Um, it is essential to eating a whole foods plant-based diet because it's just not readily available in most places. Um, you can eat out and we do eat out. Uh, but I would say the majority of the time we, we do cook and it's something that um, you learn to really like and enjoy and can be very therapeutic. Um, would you agree? Yeah, I definitely agree. And then 
at that, we're all busy people, and sometimes we don't have the time to cook a big meal, and I always remind people, you know, that go through the fast food that biting into an apple is way faster than actually sitting in line in McDonald's and going through fast food, and it's even easier than that. So, um, sometimes people say that they're busy and they're tired and that they just can't do it. I find that with enough planning and preparation, I can pretty much do anything. I make sure that I've got easy, readily available foods available at all times. There's always, um, Carly's made fun of the apples that I keep in my gym bag because by the time I actually eat them, they're all like mashed up and it's almost like applesauce in my gym bag. But when I need it, it is there and I don't have to go for anything else. So you just gotta think a lot um, forward thinking, planning, um, local, sustainable, seasonal, and it's easy. And most things that I teach people is uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Almost every meal that we do can be done in 15 to 20 minutes, so that's not much time. Yes, I'm back there. I saw you first. I'm sorry. Thank you. I yes. have a question. Uh, are you familiar with the book Forks Over Knives? And yes, very familiar. Yes, we do eat rice and beans. Thank you. Uh, yes. I, I noticed that you're juicing. I use a, like a Vitamix and I emulsify my fruits and veggies instead. Yes, we love uh, that. But we I, have Vitamix too. I'm, uh, I'm adding in protein powders like Vega or Sun Warrior. What do you think about using things like that since that is a refined thing? And if you don't like using protein powders, what would you add for protein? Okay, um, her question, and this is one we get all the time, is uh, the protein question. Uh, she's using um, uh, uh, Vitamix to blend up her fruits and vegetables, which is great. We have Vitamix too. Um, and you're adding protein powder. We do not add protein powder. Um, I have been into bodybuilding also, uh, and I've done the pr massive amounts of protein, and then I've gone without it. Honestly, I feel better without it. Um, if you follow a lot of uh, Dr. Campbell's research, T. Colin Campbell, you'll see that you, you really don't need that much protein. Um, it's sort of been uh, glorified as the number one macronutrient out of fat, carbohydrates, and then the protein. Everyone thinks protein is the best. We need all three of them, um, and you don't need that much protein. My answer to you would be try going without it, see how you feel. Um, if you feel like you, you need it and you don't feel as good, Go ahead and add back your your uh, plant-based protein, but we don't. Yes. Uh, you should feel very proud, but go natural again. Okay. <laughs> right, <good>. Fashion tips. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're not the first one who said that. Yes. Now I've heard that quite a bit. Yes. Uh, Tracy. Yes. When he approached you, um, what was it inside of you? What did you have to go through in order to say yes? Uh, I, I, I do get asked that quite a bit as well. Um, to be very honest, when I first met him, I basically said, oh, okay, Mr. Trainer Man, we'll see what you got, you know? <laughs> and uh, the first week, I felt good. I saw a big number, but I didn't know if everybody saw that type of number or if that was expected or anything like that. The second week, um, I had dropped 10 more pounds. So in two weeks, I dropped 27 pounds. And Carly would ask me things like, how are you sleeping? And it would make me realize I'm sleeping like a baby that has worked out quite a bit and is eating very healthy. And I'm waking up without an alarm clock and I don't need coffee and my mood is changing. I'm not yelling at my employees. I'm not, it, it's great. My, people actually want to come into my office to talk to me. And that was what hooked me, was I immediately started to feel better, and that was when I was like, I'm in, like, I'm there, I'm doing it, like, he's no joke. <laughs> That's an important part of what I try to teach people. Um, the, these numbers and, and the weight is what catches people's eye, but when I'm working with someone one-on-one, -on -one, it's how do you feel? Because you feel so much different, you feel so much better that you don't want to go back. Yes? Um, is there a lot of adapt I'd say to answer your question, is there a lot of adaptation when working with the elderly? There's a lot of ad adaptation working with everyone. Um, each person is a little bit different in what their injuries may be or what they can do based on 
uh, their weight, or their age, but um, we can all be active. And we have plenty of people in our gym in their 70s and 80s that are very active and very healthy and can do a lot. So there is a few adaptations, but everyone can be active and healthy and feel good. That answers your question. Yes? I thought the film was great and positive and motivating. But Thank you. I'm very interested in the challenges. I didn't feel that it showed the things that you faced that must have been really difficult, both in your prior eating habits, which we don't know, and psychologically going through that experience of changing. Yes, I completely agree because the year was very quick and rapid for me and I was losing weight and I was concentrating on eating right and exercising and feeling good and then the year later my mind had to catch up with what my body had done and to be honest after the filming was when I hit the majority of my challenges which was when I had to change the way that I was thinking and I don't have to cover up for certain things and I don't have to think about booth sizes and I don't have to try so hard to get that date anymore, you know, and, and those were the challenges and unfortunately that was after the film, but I'm an open book. <laughs> and along that line, did you ever cheat? I did not, no. <laughs> I, I didn't. And there was really no reason to. Uh, yeah, I never did. I will say that the biggest challenges that I saw for Tracy um, some of the things could be a little bit negative, I guess you could say, and I didn't really want to put that in the film because it's supposed to be a, a positive film, but the attack that you get from people um, around you, uh, that her friends that were overweight, and people that just would be upset because it's kind of a, an attack on their lifestyle, eating meat and dairy and then switching to a vegan diet. They were very, some, of, some people were very mean and aggressive to her, um, as she lost weight and I told her that that was going to happen so she was prepared for it. She even actually, as she came down in weight, uh, she lost a job uh, because she surpassed her boss, right when she surpassed her boss in her lower weight, um, her boss fired her. And I debated on whether putting that in the film or not but I didn't want to have a personal attack on her boss and I saw that coming as her boss got more aggressive with her but luckily, you know, we were, she was prepared for it, so we, yeah. she got another job. That, that was a big challenge, and, and it, it was not a challenge dealing with somebody being hurtful to me, because I dealt with that when I was big. It was more of, I didn't understand why somebody wanted to be negative against me making positive changes, but I soon realized that it was their own self-insecurities that they didn't want me to shine that light on them. You know, I used to go and to bars with all you can eat chicken wing night and have a great time with a whole bunch of friends and I couldn't do that anymore and instead I was going to races and I was going to charity runs you know and and vegan iron chef battles and they didn't want to go to that so <laughs> I, I did lose a few friends along the way yes did you have any health problems with weight loss I uh, had some high blood pressure issues for sure and I knew that I was basically just a ticking time bomb. Uh, I was real active, I was on my feet. I work in the food and, in, food and beverage industry, so it was a lot of hot hours, a lot of on my feet. Um, stress, I did not manage stress. Um, I did not manage my personality very well. <laughs> like I said, I was not the nicest boss to have, so. But um, health concerns was mainly my high blood pressure. And that is, I will say, very unusual. Um, most people that I get that are over 300 pounds do have health problems, and the doctor was surprised by uh, the fact that all she really had was high blood pressure. That's very unusual. So. Yes, I'm not going to get you back there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is kind of personal, so you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but um, I come from a family of very overweight people, and you didn't talk a lot about your family, and I was just curious, do they also struggle with weight, and were they supportive, and are they still supportive? I appreciate your sensitivity on that. Um, my family is not shown in the movie because during the filming, um, my family is heavy and they are all very heavy and I have a tight knit family. Um, my parents are amazing. They've been happily married for over 40 years and, and <laughs> he was super excited about it. But then when I went home, I still found the hot dogs in the fridge. So not quite there, but my father is also 76 years old and um, pretty stuck in his ways. So. <laughs> 
Yes. So I, that was pretty much my same question I was going to ask um, about the lifestyle as a youngster and how that kind of had to evolve. But what I wanted to know was um, just like how do you how do you like go to like Thanksgiving with your parents? Uh -huh. I cook a lot. And I bring a lot with me. Uh, and l last year, I had to make six different dishes because I had two different families to go to. And I just bring them along. And I never even tell them that they're vegan dishes. I just put them out on the spread. And people are like, that's really good. I'm like, yeah, I like it too. How about that? <laughs> and, and that's just it. I've learned not to kind of judge their eating habits during family occasions like that to not make waves. But eventually, I'll send them all the recipe. And they're like, what? It's vegan? Oh, I love it. Yeah, and I will add that that is challenging for everyone, not just her. Me <laughs> yeah. too. Um, I think for most people that are on a, a, a plant-based diet, when you go to family uh, holidays and stuff, you know, it's a lot of that food is, is not plant-based. So we always just try to have some plant-based meals available for us. As long as we have two or three, we're, we're usually good to go. Yes. Did you have any issues that caused you to overeat, like um, emotional overeat or anything, when you had to rewire your brain to accommodate this thing? I'm sure that I overate um, as a comfort food. I'm definitely an emotional eater. I'm still an emotional eater. I just eat different foods now. That, <laughs> if I have a bad day, I'm going to mouth through a, a pound of broccoli instead of you know <laughs> some gourmet cheeses. So um, I think that that will always be there. Um, I celebrate life with food, and I just needed to learn how to celebrate it better. So you've never watched portions on this plant no, that wouldn't, that wouldn't have worked for me. That was one of the things when he said, he's like, you can have as many fruits and vegetables as you want. I said, okay, I'm in. Because <laughs> I, I don't have a measuring scale, so. Yes. Yes, you. Okay. Mine actually kind of goes along with that, too. Um, did you follow any, when you were losing all the weight, did you follow any particular food rules other than being vegan? Uh, Avoid oil, salt, any of those kind of things, sugar, whatever? Yes, uh, it's whole foods plant-based. So there are a number of vegan foods that are unhealthy. So we eat things as they come from the ground, which are fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and legumes. And then we mix them together in a lot of different ways. So we don't do a lot of processed food. And that was something that after the film, uh, Tracy did go into eating some vegan, uh, vegan processed foods, and she gained about 15 or 20 pounds back. Right. And then she decided she didn't want to do that and yeah. went back to a whole foods plant-based diet. I think that that was one of my biggest challenges the year after to follow up on the year after challenges was that after the filming, I had a little bit of time to think and I was like, wait, what's this frozen Boca burger all about in Gardein? And I'm going to try all of these because people were asking me, do you eat those? And I was like, no, what are they? Let me try them. <laughs> and um, they didn't, you know, while some of them may taste good, they didn't make me feel good. And I had to go back to that one rule do what made you feel good. And so I went back to eating what made me feel good. Yes. The movie doesn't address organic or GMO. Where do you stand with that? Um, I think organic, or organic and um, uh, not eating GMO is the, always the way to go when you can do it. Um, the reason I don't address that right away is because that scares people sometimes. You overload them with um, uh, all these rules, 